The idea of Pendens Diesels in the Vale came about because we wanted to show how the Great Western might have developed motive power had nationalisation in 1948 not happened, or if you like, the Western's approach to the replacement of steam with other uh, motive power. For most of British Railways, after nationalisation, they went along the line of diesel electrics, but the Western shows diesel hydraulics. Now, this might have been because of the hills down in the West Country. They were attracted by the idea of having a lighter weight and a higher, higher power to weight ratio, therefore. Because of the Second World War and rationing that followed it, a lot of things haven't really changed very much between the 30s and the late 50s, early 60s. There would have been some changes. The, the roads would have been metalled, unlike the chalk roads we've got here. And there would have been more uh, vehicles on the road, more cars, uh, more lorries. Uh, people who were trained to drive lorries in the war bought army surplus lorries and set up in business. So we saw on the western region a totally different type of locomotive to that seen on the rest of Britain's railways and we thought that it would be a nice opportunity to celebrate uh, the opening of the Bristol line which we did in the summer uh, by showing the Bristolian how it evolved in the uh, in the 1960s with a warship on the front a D600 class warship on the front so that idea and then a high mech and a baby warship and other motive power uh, running through the Vale was something that we thought was attractive and as a newly accredited museum we also wanted to reach out to different audiences from our classic railway modeler interested in the the Great Western in the 1930s. So diesels in the Vale is obviously all about running some diesel trains in the Vale. The infrastructure hadn't changed that much but the motive power had. First we had the BR standard classes, the Britannias and then the 262s which were uh, based on a riddle design. Uh, th there was not a lot of great western input into the standard class of steam locomotives and there was far more when the diesels came out. So we had the uh, warships, the, the, uh, the 600 class, then the 800 class warships which were on the Bristolian and then of course we had the Hymex and the westerns which was everybody's favourites. And we've got one of the trains coming up in the background now. This is a coal train uh, from maybe the Somerset coal field or uh, more likely from South Wales with a high mech on which is quite unusual so we've got some uh, fitted vehicles on the front and then a long string of loaded coal trains most of which are, are standard um, steel wagons at the back but there's a good mix in there and this this is what it's about this is what the enthusiasts have come to see and this train is a mix from three of our volunteers and that's really really important that's what pen all about and that certainly is what Roy found when he founded the museum back in 1954. What he needed was lots of people to work together to put stock that would all blend into his trains and we're carrying that tradition on even today in 2018.